for our money creation. And the fact of the matter is the banks are bossed if the, if the house prices are allowed to fall. So th- this all started with the credit creation 30 years ago, where too much credit chased too few homes. And believe it or not, we can create credit typing into a typewriter. We cannot build homes at that pace. And he, uh, Mr. Johnson, was, was party to this and proved it can't be done. He had eight years as a mayor of London. And look at house prices and housing supply. The fact is, too much credit is chasing too few homes. And most of that credit has gone to, in the last 20 years, has gone to foreign buyers and to landlords. And, of course, as rents are so high, landlords can afford to outbid yes. most single families. For, for what would you do? Well, for, uh, it's a long old chain, James. Of course it is. I know that. Say, Sorry, it's a simplistic question, but go on, have a no, go. No, 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 it's, <laughs> it's a great question. The fact <laughs> is, um, in the short term, we're not going to build our way out. So we have to freeze rents. That's the first step in the chain, because once those rents are not driving um, speculative investment in housing, house prices will settle and start to fall. And that's what we want to see happening. Yeah. We, we either need but that, to be... that is, I mean, in terms of t- late 20th, early 21st century conservatism, where the only asset that our hard work and aspiration has, has given us is, is the equity we have in our home. That's potentially politically toxic, isn't it? No, of course it is. But of course, James, we all know that we didn't work three times harder for yes, our home. You're absolutely our right. I know, mate. I, this is this thing. You with... taught me this, didn't you? This, 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 this idea that your house is worth one house. It's not worth three times what it was. Because by the time you sell it, you, you need somewhere else to live. That has been inflated beyond all recognition as well. So you never actually trouser the money that you've made. It's all a figure of, of it's a, like a figment almost when, when, when you're comparing prices with your neighbours. No, but it's real when you've got to go somewhere and pay rent. Yes, ex- no, exactly that, exactly that. It's, um, yeah, and, and that, it, well, that's the dragon he cursed, the real dragon that he can't slay. So he has to talk about non- not non-existent dragons, but misrepresented and tiny dragons. I, which... I'll, leave, I'll leave you with this, of course that the more you pay on your uh, uh, property prices and house prices, the less you have to pay into the economy. And guess what we're, yeah, we're, we're on the verge of? We cannot get inflation. We can't get it despite all of this so-called money printing. It's all going into assets, James. Bricks and mortar. Which means the more you had when this process started... It's not going into wages. The better it's, it is for you. So it's capital, right? Yeah, it's not going not into labor. wages. It's not going into See, if you call it investment. capital and labor, you sound like a Marxist. If you call it wages and assets, <laughs> you sound like a, well, you know, a, a, a don. You sound like bang on the money. But people still don't get it, do they? So many people who, who have had the dream of owning their own homes taken away or seen it taken away from their own children still think that capital is their friend and, and labor is their enemy. 